them. It just uh, it looked like you guys were trying, but nothing was working out there. And just couldn't get the things that have been going well for the last few days going. Is that a fair way to describe it? Yeah. Um, you know, they came out. They're a really good hockey team, and I think uh, – uh, we were lacking energy a little bit at the start there, and you know if you make mistakes against that team or give them a little bit of space and time, they make you pay. So um, we had some chances tonight for sure, um, but you know they played hard, and uh, we're looking forward to getting a rematch and getting those two points back. Yeah, all the uh, when a team wins as much as you guys have been winning, a game like this is 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 it inevitable that you find a game like this after playing so well for so long? Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a tough league. You know, every night's going to be different, but. Um, I think the one thing that we can definitely do consistently is, is f our effort. You know, we can win battles and not lose one-on-ones. And, um, you know, I think we, we were losing some of those tonight, you know, myself included. And um, I think next game we're going to come out with a much more, uh, you know, strong mindset and defending first and making sure that we're uh, being physical with them and not really giving them too many chances. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Caleb, you had the 30 shots, but I didn't notice a lot traffic in front of the net and a lot of you know where he had to scramble and make some great saves is that how you saw a lot of one and done yeah uh their d were doing a really good job of making it hard on our forwards to get to the front of the net and you know their goalie was was able to see it and he was making saves tonight so you know sometimes you know the other team has good players too sometimes you gotta you gotta work through that and you know we had like i said we had a couple chances there in the third uh you know right in front but it just wouldn't go and um you know we'll move on and just get ready for the rematch Thank you. Oh. Derek Van Dees, Post Media. Hey, Caleb, in that first period, you guys had three or four really good looks and, and missed the net. Did you guys look at that period and go, you know, geez, if we could have maybe varied one of those chances, things would have been a little different going in the second? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can you could look at it that way. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a tough one because, you know, like I said, the other team, their goalie was playing well tonight. And, um, you know, sometimes that's how it goes, but you got to stick with it and, and make sure you're not giving up too much. And then, um, you know, you'll get your chances at the other end, especially with some of our forwards we have. So, um, yeah, I mean, you could look at it that way. And when you find out Austin Matthews isn't playing, does that kind of change things at all? Or does it change the way you kind of approach the game? Uh, no, not at all. You know, we're, we're worried about ourselves, and we're trying to play the same way every night and be a consistently hard team to play against. So, um, you know, obviously he's a big piece for them, but it doesn't change the way we play. Ryan Rashog, TSN. Uh, Jail, just for you personally, you know, you worked your way back into the lineup and have been, uh, you know, playing a reasonable amount here. You look around you and all you see are defensemen at practice. There's so many on the on the team mm -hmm. right now. How do you how do you kind of carve out your space and what do you need to do to make sure you can stay in that lineup? Uh yeah, we have a lot of uh, good young defensemen and some good veterans, so. Uh, it's a lot of competition right now for to get in the lineup. So, um, you know, for me personally, I'm just trying to make sure I work hard every day and, and do what the coaches are telling me in, in whatever uh, role that needs to be, whether I need to be penalty killing or trying to uh, move pucks. So, um, for me personally, I'm just just trying to keep my head down, and work hard every day, and when I get my chance, uh, just make the most of it and make it really hard for them to have to take you out of the lineup again. This taxi squad situation is very different. You know, normally it'd be one or two guys sitting out, uh, but you know now the way it is, I mean, you, you text are sitting out weeks at a time. Uh, how how different is that scenario, and how does it change your sense of urgency to you know to make sure you don't end up on the outside? Uh, it's tough for sure. Um, you know, I know for me uh, that was you know a long time of sitting out. It's probably the longest I've ever uh, sat out during a season without playing a game. So. Um, you know, it sucks, and then eventually, you know, you, you kind of get your mindset around that you're going to get it back in, and when you get back in, you just got to be ready for it. And, you know, like I said, you have to play well enough to where uh, the coaching staff feels that they need you in the lineup every night. So um, I'm sure everyone, you know, on the taxi squad has that mindset, and they do a really good job of keeping us ready to go. Tony Brar, Oilers TV. Hey, Caleb, just one question for me. It sounds like mm -hmm. you and uh, Leon Dreisaitl will speak on behalf of the team and not being happy with your effort levels. Today, so you guys see this team again in 48 hours. What do the next 48 hours look like for you to make sure you guys are ready to go at puck drop on Monday night? Um, just uh, get a get rest, obviously, and then obviously get a good practice in tomorrow, and um, you know watch some video, see what we need to clean up, and um, things we can improve on, and then work on them in practice. And uh, you know, just kind of like the whole year's been, it's been kind of game day off game. So uh, 
we'll kind of flush this one and you know just get ready for the next one. You know we know we can be a good team and we we do things the right way. So um, we'll, we're already looking forward to the rematch.